Well, no matter where you go around central Ohio, you are likely to see some sort of construction, and that includes the building of hospitals. Really all of central Ohio's major health systems have big projects going on right now. NBC4's Eric Halperin is in Columbus to show us some of the work and why it is needed. Eric? Jared and Jen, one of those projects has changed the skyline of Ohio State's campus. Behind me is the OSU Wexner Medical Center's new hospital. It is scheduled to open in 2026 and is one of several projects across the area taking off. The Ohio State Wexner Medical Center, Ohio Health, Mount Carmel, and Nationwide Children's all working on big new facilities around central Ohio. You see a lot of cranes out there. So I can tell you, so all four hospital systems here in Franklin County are undertaking large construction projects. OSU's new inpatient hospital is 1.9 million square feet and will have up to 820 beds when done. Just a bit north, Ohio Health is building a 590,000 square foot women's center by Riverside. Mount Carmel is opening a new hospital in Dublin and Nationwide Children's has started working on a new tower which will be right next to the current one. When you look at the data, we know that this community, the population of Central Ohio, uh, will grow by about 30% over the next 25 years. Uh, that will be about 730,000 new residents uh, here in Central Ohio. And our hospitals, like other sectors, are making plans now for that anticipated growth. Jeff Klingler is the president and CEO of the Central Ohio Hospital Council. He says the expected population growth is partly due to Intel and other tech companies also growing in our area. The healthcare expansion isn't just happening to handle a bigger overall population, but according to Klingler, a larger percentage of the population, which is older. We know that even in the past four years, uh, Franklin County population has grown by 2%. Uh, the population of those age 65 and older has grown 12% over the past four years. We know that's going to escalate uh, over the next 10 to 15, 20 years. And as we know, as you get older, our health conditions become a little bit more complex. With all the new hospitals comes jobs to operate them. Both Klingler and John Palmer with the Ohio Hospital Association say staffing is a challenge. That's been the top concern in recent years uh, when uh, Hospital C uh, CEOs or hospital leaders have been surveyed and polled. Workforce, particularly workforce recruitment, uh, has been a top concern uh, for, for hospital leaders. Palmer and Klingler say hospitals are focusing on recruitment, including going into schools and getting students interested in health care at younger ages. Building that pipeline is something that our hospitals work together on. And uh, we hope that, again, we can kind of lessen some of those barriers going into you know, the next 10, 15 years. And according to Klingler, hospitals have openings right now, and the new medical facilities will lead to another six to 7,000 jobs. And Palmer points out hospitals are expanding in other parts of the state as well. Local for you, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4. All right, Eric, thank you.